Hi. I am Rod from Postech Press Dressing. Today, I would like to present about analysis and design method for post-tension slab. Design of reinforced concrete slab is a direct process where the required amount of rebars can be directly computed upon design bending moments are known. Post-tension concrete slab design, in other hand, is a true optimization process. Slab thickness, tendon loads and profile as well as terminating points must be given before the analysis can be executed. In general, design of two-way PT slabs can be done by two following approaches, equivalent frame method or finite element method. By equivalent frame method, we consider two-way slab as one-way equivalent frame system. The equivalent frames are cut from the design strips. For each frame, slab is continuously connected to column through torsional member. The finite element method can be applied to analysis and design of post-tension concrete slab. By using finite element method, two-way slab is treating as a complete two-way system. The complete slab geometry as well as tendon data must be provided before analysis run. Finite element solver is then run to solve for nodal displacement, internal forces and stresses. Finite element method is a currently most reliable method for PT slab analysis and design, but it is much more expensive process and very difficult to do automated design with currently available software. By using any design methods, the designer should carefully investigate for punching shear capacity of the slab. Punching shear design is a truly two-way action where vertical shear force as well as transferred moment in two principal directions must be considered in a single run. At Postec Press Dressing, we develop PT Punch, a specialized software for punching shear design that assists our engineers in punching shear design of two-way post-tension slab. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.